So I'm a dumbass, and the video you're about to see is the remake of the top 10 favorite uh, movies of the year because I had to remake it because I lost the footage for the first one. So I remade it, and I decided to use my mic. We'll see if this works, if it makes a little better audio. My big dumbass makes the video and forgot to plug it in to the damn phone. So enjoy me talking to a non-existent microphone for about 9 minutes. Enjoy the video. What's going on guys, it's Kyle here. Um, this is not going to be a very good video because I already made this video, but guess what? Somehow the video got deleted, so now I gotta remake it and half-ass it. So, this is going to be my top 10 favorite films of this year, 2018. Um, these are the films that I've seen this year. It might be There might be a film on here that you haven't, or that you've seen and you should think it should be on here. Good, let me know in the comments. But uh, these are my personal opinion, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so coming up at number 10 is Ready Player One. So Ready Player One came out, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, exceeded my expectations. Steven Spielberg directed it. I liked the cinematography. The music was great. The 80s references are uh, spot on. I loved them. Um, there's a couple things they could have did more. They could have uh, probably did a little did with the comedy. The comedy element was not very good. The script could have been a way better because there was a lot of cringy dialogue and a couple scenes in there that just did not need to be in there. And I think that's about it for that. So that's why it's at number ten. Number nine is uh, Upgrade, which is a little film that came out early this year and. Not a lot of people, uh, you know, saw it in the theater, so it kind of sucks because this film's awesome, man. Great action. Uh, the choreography is really good and uh, impressive for a small budget action film. Uh, if you love just gore and just bloody action, this is a great movie for you. It also has a really dark ending, and if you love dark endings, you'll love this ending. So that's why it's number nine. Number eight is Deadpool 2, the long-awaited sequel that I don't think anyone thought could ever be as good as uh, the first one. And it exceeded my expectations again. Uh, this is easily funnier than the first one. Uh, it's not better. I think they definitely did. They, the thing about this one is they really pushed so much into this one that it just kind of became convoluted and very confusing at times. It just became a big mess of people wanting this in there and people wanted this in there. Like They just wanted too much in this movie, but you can't always put so much in one movie. So I think it's its main problem. Overall, it's a fun action film. Uh, hilarious, as always, because Deadpool is always fun. I did not see Once Upon a Deadpool, which was the PG-13 cut of this film. Speaking of cuts, the uh, Super Duper cut was pretty good. Coming up at number seven is Bohemian Rhapsody, the uh, Queen film that I thought would never ever get made. And it was made, and I was actually really excited for this movie because Remy Malik was in it, my boy Remy Malik from Mr. Robot. It looked great, and I love Queen. Queen's my favorite band, so I mean, I was super excited for this movie, and I was not disappointed. This film was awesome. The music is always good. I mean, the music is gonna be good to begin with. It's Queen. Who doesn't love Queen? Um, Acting was phenomenal. Uh, the script was a little cliche, a little uh, you know cringy at times. Uh, the story was there's nothing different. It's nothing to set across the bar for biopics or anything. It's definitely something you've seen before, but honestly, it's super good. And in my opinion, it's really good. So that's why it's at number seven. Coming up at number six is A Quiet Place. Now, this film came out of nowhere for me. I saw the trailer and it looked like another dumb horror film, but then I saw who was behind the project, John Krasinski, Jim from The Office. He directed it, he produced it, and he wrote the screenplay. Like, this guy did pretty much damn near everything in this movie, and it turned out to be really, really good. I mean, it uses sound to its absolute advantage. It, uh, the sound of this movie creates intensity, atmosphere, um, scariness, it just creates everything in this movie. Everything relies on sound in this movie, uh, because there's hardly any dialogue in the film, so it really heavily relies on the sound and just the overall creep factor of the movie. And it delivers, man. There's a few jump scares, but when there are jump scares, it, they, they hit hard. Um, that's it, why it's at number six. Number five is Incredibles 2. Uh, this was a fantastic sequel that came out in June. Uh, this took... 15 years to come out 15 years um and i was not disappointed i honestly thought it was 
great and it exceeded my expectations for a sequel to a movie that came out 15 years ago. You know, Disney always wants to remake their old properties and this turned out to be really damn good. I'm not going to lie, guys. Jack-Jack steals the show, obviously. Um, the, uh, the old characters are still great. Um, the only thing I have a problem with is the villain was very stupid and came out of nowhere and just... Well, I mean, not really. I came out of nowhere. You can honestly guess who it is from, like, the first time you meet the person, but... Anyways, that's that. Honestly, I really enjoyed this film. I think it was worth the wait. Hopefully they don't make Incredibles 3. Uh, they didn't really set one up, so hopefully they don't. Um, we'll see. Coming up at number 5 is Mission Impossible 6 uh, Fallout. The best one in the series, in my opinion, and it might be my favorite action film. I mean, it's that good. Uh, the action is Paul's bound. I mean, the action is crazy. The music is great. The cinematography is actually really good as well, which I was not expecting from a Mission Impossible film. Tom Cruise always puts on his best performance in those movies, uh, and he also does all of his stunts, obviously, and this movie has the absolute craziest stunts imaginable. I mean, this guy damn near killed himself for this movie, but I loved it, and that's why it's at number four. Number three is a very big surprise for me, uh, and that is Black Klansman. And uh, this movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. Denzel Washington's son. His performance here is amazing. And so is uh, Adam Driver. I love Adam Driver. And he was uh, an absolute treat to watch in this movie. He's a great supporting character. Um, the story is great. The acting is phenomenal, like I've already talked about. The music is kind of crappy and kind of generic. I don't know why they chose that kind of music, but whatever. Cinematography is good. Um overall movie it's really good the ending is a little sad but i think they don't really they didn't really need to put that in there at the end but they had to have their message so i guess it's okay with me but that's why it's at number three coming up at number two is probably the biggest surprise of this entire year for me and that is game night this movie is absolutely hilarious and it's not only hilarious but it's also very smart in the way, in the way it's uh, made um, there's a lot of uh, pop culture references the concept is funny and cool the acting is obviously it's it's a comedy so it's not gonna be amazing but it's 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 decent the music is good as well and I love the aesthetic of it it looks like when when you transition from one scene to the next they almost do like a they're showing you like they're on a, a, a game board or like a board for a board game so cool and a lot of different camera tricks are used in this movie which you would not expect from a comedy uh, that's why it's number two, man. Amazing film. A couple honorable mentions uh, would be Isle of Dogs, Venom, Tag, and Like Father. All right, here it is. My number one favorite film of the year is Avengers Infinity War. I mean, you probably already guessed it because I'm a huge Marvel fan. It's the biggest movie of the entire year. Made made like $2 billion. I mean, this movie's everywhere. But I love it, man, and I uh, need to own it, but I love it, and it's probably my favorite Marvel movie. It is probably my second favorite comic book movie. Um, I think I don't really need to say anything more about it. You guys already know pretty much everything about this movie, but... All right, that was it. That was my top 10 favorite films of this year. I know it wasn't as crazy as you probably thought it would be. I, I had a better video plan, but for some reason it got deleted, so I had to remake it on the spur of the moment. Hopefully this turns out okay. We'll see. Once again, I'll say again, I said it multiple times before, but thank you again for everything this year. You guys mean the world to me. You got me a thousand subscribers. You just sticked with me and watched all my videos, and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to see some other content like this, and we cannot wait for another awesome year in 2019. Don't forget to follow me down below. I'll put my uh, medias, my social medias in the description box below check them out follow me whatever and i think that's it thank you so much for watching this video have a great day peace out bye guys before the video ends i have one last thing to say and it's a little revision to my list okay so i'm gonna try to read this out and i don't know why this is so confusing to me but number 10 is ready player one okay number nine is deadpool 2 number eight is bohemian rhapsody Number seven is A Quiet Place. Number six is Incredibles 2. Number five is Mission Impossible Fallout. Four is Black Klansman. Number three is Game Night. Number two is Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. That's the new one because I saw it today and it's amazing. And then number one is Avengers Infinity War. That's my official listings for my favorite movies of the year. God, I don't know why that was so confusing. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.